Welcome back guys. Hey, I got a little tale to spin with you today on my C8 order. If you remember, I finally put a deposit down on a C8 with a local Chevy dealer. Uh, it's at least a couple months ago. And I was supposedly on the list. I was either number six or number nine. Kind of varied. So in a couple of months time, I, I would call once a month over there. And I wasn't getting any feedback. I wasn't getting a return call or any email return back. And I started, I started to get a little concerned because, hey, how about just a once a month update? I wasn't getting that. So at the beginning of May, I think, I got a call from one of the salesmen that says, hey, you might be getting close on the list. Huh. I go, whoa, okay, that, that sounds good. The general manager, he said, We'll give you a call when, when we're ready. I says, okay. So I'm going to backtrack a minute because I'm going to tell you something you're probably not going to like hearing and saying, oh, boy, you're really stupid. But anyhow, with this local dealer, when I put the deposit down on the car, the deposit wasn't a $1,000 refundable. It was a $5,000 non-refundable deposit and at the time I was told they got sick and tired of guys having these $1,000 deposits all over the place at all these different dealers including all the local dealers and then indiscriminately or whatever they would just pull it say no I don't want any more this and that this and that so they decided maybe we're gonna go with a non-refundable and see if we just get people that are just plain interested in getting the car so I guess it's worked out for them. I was becoming to get a little bit skeptical because I wasn't getting any return calls. So I was kind of embarrassed to even tell you that I did that. But jumping forward again, on Wednesday the 11th, I get a call from the general manager. And he says, hey, we have an allocation available. Would you like to stop in and get it finalized? And I says, yeah, I can, uh, I can come in, and um, it ended up being I went in on Friday afternoon, uh, the 13th. So I took my wife with me because sometimes my decision making isn't the greatest, and uh, so I just wanted her to double check me on what I was doing. So we went in, and I says, well, I said this is great. I says. Um, so we're all set to order a car. He says, yeah. He says, what it's going to be, though, he says, it's got to be Z51 with a mag ride. And I go, well, I don't want a Z51. I told you that in the beginning when I did the preliminary order on this workbench order. I didn't want the Z51. He says, well, it's the only thing I got available. He says, I had four allocations for the month. He says, three of them were Z51 non-mag and I got one Z51 mag ride. That's the one, the three non the three non-mag ones are gone. So he apparently allocated out the three Z51 only. So he says this is what I got left and he says um, you got a choice. He says you can wait until next month. you be at the top of the list and then see if we can get a you know a regular stingray in without the uh, z51 and he says uh you would have been in june anyhow because apparently i uh the, there was one guy ahead of me and he wanted the anniversary edition well that's on constraint so he couldn't get that so he's waiting for that so i kind of moved into that position if i want the car or not well again I don't see the worth in spending all the money on a Z51. It just, I mean, obviously, if you're going to track the car, yeah, it has some benefits. But just for a guy that's going to be tooling around town or taking little cruises here and there, maybe a trip on the highway, I, I'm never going to track the car. But that was my choice. I could either do that or wait. And then maybe the icing on the cake came in when he said, and I saw it on his computer screen because he showed me that the notification he got 
stated that only 15% of his allocations going forward to the end of the model year would be playing stingrays. So I asked him about it. He says, he says most of my orders that I do are, are on Z51s. So, you know, it's kind of running through my head. And I saw a video on Friday also of at Rick Conti, and he was talking about ordering systems. And it seemed like his was 25% on Stingrays. So I'm thinking, these allocations, and it varies per dealer, obviously, and it varies per month how many allocations a dealer gets, but it's also dependent on the constraints and what they're allowed to order, apparently, based on their previous orders. So I thought my my percentage of getting a regular Stingray with this dealer was pretty darn low if it was only going to be 15% throughout the model year. So, and he told me, he told me also, and he showed me that it looked like the constraints on the mag ride were going to be lifted in July. So I'm thinking, well, even if they're lifted on the mag ride, that would be for, you know, a lot of people that couldn't get a Z51 with mag ride. Now they'd be able to, but it wouldn't. It still wouldn't help to get just a regular Stingray. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but um, so my wife and I went into a powwow, and I said, "Geez, I, I don't know. See, I had ordered a 3LT, which is about." $4,400 more than a 2LT. So I was thinking in my head, I had my base price set at like 91000 That was with the 3LT. Now, I could save about $4,400 if I went with a 2LT. And I've got a sky cool gray interior that I wanted, but I liked the additional gray that the 3LT provided. I liked it in the roof and down below the dashboard. They gave the dashboard like a two-tone look. So that's why I really wanted the 3LT, even though I thought, oh, geez, this isn't worth 4400 but I was willing to do that. So then, you know, I mentioned that to her. We could save 4400 if I go to the 2LT. And she goes, no, it's not what you wanted. And I says, well, neither is the Z51. I, and she says, yeah, but, you know, you're only going to do this once. And you know, let's just get through it. Just order your car. And, uh, and you know, then I said to her, well, where am I, where are we going to find the resources to put food on the table next week? And she gave me a funny look, and I don't know, I didn't know how to take that. But I kind of did something I, I shouldn't have done, probably, Went back into the showroom, talked to the general manager, and said, "All right, let's let's do it." So apparently, the orders have to be in, and I'm filming this today on Saturday, the uh, 14th. So he's, the orders have to be in on the 14th, and next week sometime you should be at order 3,000 with GM. And I said, "Well." through your experience of ordering these cars for the last four years, from the, the time you rolled a 3,000, you're at 3,000, what time frame do you expect to get the car? He says, well, if must, nothing else changes, the average time is about two and a half to three months. So he said you should have the car no later than mid-August if everything goes smooth on GM's end at this point. So... That would make the car, if I get the car in mid-August, then that would have been a total time frame of about six months. And I'm going, well, I mean, that's about what he told me to begin with. To expect six to eight months. And because, you know, I had gone to McMulkin, they wanted, you know, they thought between 12 and 14 months when I called them. When I called the first guy, in New York State, this was Van Bortles, which is the top, uh, he's like number 20 in the top 100 of Corvette dealers. 
he originally told me 16 months, and so that's why I started calling around. And I even called the biggest auto group in our area, thinking, well, they sell the most Corvettes and that. And when I talked to them, it was like 14, 16 months. And of course, they pushed, they had used Corvettes, C8s, but I didn't want that. I couldn't find exactly what I wanted. So then when this dealer told me six to eight months, the $5,000 non-refundable, I thought, Maybe that's where he's getting the edge and not going through a lot of bullshit, you know. So I decided to get it, and I should be super excited, and I probably will be when it comes in. And I, I ordered the Accelerate Yellow. He says, well, this will be my first car that I've ordered in yellow. I know I've droned on for far too long, so I'm going to end the video here. Uh, it's been an interesting process so far and I'll keep you updated so I'll talk to you guys later.